Hey, DIY enthusiasts, welcome back to Skilled Hub. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of conservatories. Whether you're thinking of building one yourself or hiring a company, we've got some valuable tips to guide you through the process. Let's jump in. Have you ever wished to extend the beauty of summer and shrink the chill of fall? A conservatory might be the answer. Before we delve into the nitty gritty of building one, let's talk about why you might want a conservatory in the first place. Summer flies by and as autumn approaches, the evenings get cooler. A conservatory can be your haven, allowing you to bask in the summer vibes a bit longer and enjoy the changing seasons from the comfort of your home. A conservatory is a type of building or room that is traditionally attached to a house and primarily used for cultivating and displaying plants, particularly delicate or exotic ones. It is designed to allow in sunlight while protecting the plants from harsh weather conditions. Conservatories often feature extensive use of glass, providing a bright and controlled environment for plants to thrive. In addition to their historical use for plant cultivation, modern conservatories are versatile spaces that serve various purposes, including additional living space, dining areas, or even home offices. These spaces are designed to seamlessly connect the indoors with the outdoors, offering a unique and aesthetically pleasing extension to a home. Conservatories typically have walls and roofs made predominantly of glass. This design maximizes natural light, creating a bright and airy atmosphere. While not all conservatories are used for plant cultivation, many still incorporate indoor plants or a garden-like setting. This greenery contributes to the natural and tranquil ambiance. Conservatories often have ventilation systems and, in some cases, heating or cooling mechanisms to control the temperature and create a comfortable environment for both plants and people. Traditionally, a conservatory is attached to the main house, often accessible through a door. This allows for a seamless transition between the indoor living space and the conservatory. Modern conservatories have evolved to serve various purposes beyond plant cultivation. They can be used as sunrooms, dining areas, lounges, or extensions of the living space. The design of a conservatory can vary widely, from traditional Victorian or Edwardian styles to more contemporary and minimalistic designs. The architectural style often complements the overall design of the house. While traditional conservatories may have been more seasonal, modern designs are often built to be used year-round. This involves considerations such as insulation and climate control to make the space comfortable in all seasons. Now, when it comes to building conservatories, the first big decision is whether to embark on a DIY journey or enlist the help of a construction company. It's not always an easy choice, so let's consider some crucial questions. The budget is a significant factor. Conservatories come in various types and costs can vary based on the materials and design. It's crucial to outline your budget clearly before diving into the project to avoid unforeseen expenses. Remember, a well-defined budget not only helps you decide whether to build it yourself or hire professionals, but also sets realistic expectations for the project. Now let's talk about your building experience. Have you tackled construction projects before? Do you enjoy building? These questions are vital to assess your capability and willingness to undertake a significant project, like building a conservatory. If you lack experience or find the project daunting, it might be wise to seek help from professionals. Starting off on your own and realizing it's too much can lead to a more extensive and costlier project later on. Next up, consider how you want to use your conservatory. Is it a summer retreat or do you envision using it throughout the year? This decision impacts the complexity and cost of the project. If you're dreaming of a year-round retreat, be prepared for added expenses, including insulation and heating systems. Pinterest can be a great source of inspiration for different conservatory ideas. Building permits are a critical consideration when planning your conservatory. Before you start sketching designs, it's crucial to understand the regulations and whether you need permission from your local municipality. Remember, processing times for permits can be lengthy, so it's best to get started on this early in the planning phase. Don't risk building without the necessary approvals. Whether you're a seasoned DIYer or leaning towards professional help, careful planning and consideration of your budget and needs will ensure a successful project. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit that notification bell. If you have any questions or want to share your conservatory building experiences, drop a comment below. Happy building and we'll catch you in the next one.